Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and it's Tom's Radio Room Show. And in my previous show, I started testing these 18650 batteries. I, I got two batteries from Nikkor, and I had a bunch of Ultra Fire batteries. And I haven't had very good luck with the Ultra Fire, so I've been trying to do some testing with um, these two sets of batteries and to see, um, you know, what, what, what can I expect? Well, I also did some searching on the internet for these types of batteries. And I found this website where he, right here. I saw this chart and it really caught my eye. So I went to this page. Here it is, and I'll put the link in the description. This gentleman has done a ton of battery testing on 18650 batteries. He started the testing in 2012 and he has a ton of results and there is just loads and loads of information. Let me but go back to the beginning here which is a summary. Um, he had tested here's here's where he measured the batteries and look at all the batteries he tested. My gosh, I had no idea there were that many batteries out there. And you can see also that the length of the battery and the diameter of the battery really varies. Now, if I come down here, the scale here is 64 millimeters to 70 millimeters. So it's not 0 to 70, it starts at 64. But still, look at all the variance. And this is supposed to be 18650, which the 18650 designates the diameter of the battery, 18 millimeters, and the length of the battery, uh, 65 millimeters. And look at the variance, which I have also found um, that, that the two batteries that I'm testing... Okay... Oh, I know what's wrong. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever going to stop. What's happened? Ah, finally it stopped. What's happening is I use this indoor-outdoor thermometer to know what the indoor temperature is in my office and also I stick the outdoor probe up inside the vent to tell me the temperature of the air coming out of the vent. Well this morning it finally got cold here in Florida so I had to light the furnace and now when that furnace comes out it sends on it sends out a blast of hot air and that little thermometer uh, has a trip alarm at a certain temperature, it will start giving me this message. So it exceeded that temperature and that's why it was running off the mouth there for a while. Sorry for that. Okay, what was I saying? So the length and the uh, diameter really vary. The weight varies a little bit, of course, because of the size. And then the important stuff comes down here. Oh, what I was saying was I found out that the Nikkor and the Ultrafire are different lengths. And I ran into some problems, which I'll discuss when I give you the results. Okay, so look at all these different tests he did. And it, it goes on and on and on. So he tested, and it proved out my guess that Depending on the load, the test load you put on it, the capacity of the battery will vary. And you can see this why he's tested it under all these different loads and he's color coded this. So the max load is that he tested was 5 amps, which is the purple. And then you, it shows in these charts that as you test it with a lower value load then the capacity gets extended to somewhat in some cases pretty much like here's one that 
it doesn't have any purple so it says it shut down as soon as he put that 5 amp load on it similar to what my ultra fires did and then he ran it at 3 amps and he got some test results and then it extended quite a bit when he lowered it to 2 amps the uh, what I started out with on my test is I started out with a half of an amp and the ultra fires the two that I tested shut off within 15 minutes and they only got like 120 milliamp hours capacity I tested two of them. The two that I put in the charger before, that's what they did. I have four other ones that I'm going to test now to see if it was just those two particular ones. And it could be that the cheap charger that, that, um, that those two batteries came with damaged the batteries because I just left those in overnight and it may have been too long and it may have damaged the batteries. Anyway. Okay, but I, for the test, for this testing, I charged all of them with the Nikkor D4 charger, which once the battery reaches, reaches its charge level, in this case it's going to be 4.2 volts, the charging stops, so it can't overcharge it. Okay, and then he shows where he discharged the capacity down to certain voltages. This is 3 volts. 3.2. I mean, his testing is, just goes on and on. He must have hours and hours in this test results. What's this? There's discharge, discharge time in hours. And the scale is up to 16 and a half hours. And again, he tested these under different loads. Let's just kind of look at which ones stand out. There, there's a Panasonic that stands out. Uh, under the red load, which is the smallest load, 0.2 amps. See, I'm running right now 0.34. It's kind of be between here. Ooh, so this test, if these NICORs, which I'm, that's what I'm testing right now, if they're pretty good, it says mm, they might run five or six hours before they shut down. Wow. I guess my 0.5 amp load was a better load. See, 0 0.5, eh, kind of average of four or five hours. Yeah, I may have missed the boat on that. Uh, now you learn, you know, I'm, like I said, when I did the first video, I don't know that much about these batteries, so I'm learning, and boy, this website gives me a wealth of information. And he has, this is just one page. If I go back up here to the top, if I can ever get up there. Gosh, he's got lots of data. Okay, we got weight, size. Here's all kinds of other pages he has. And he's got uh, curves, charts. He's got a um, he's got a comparator. Let me go try the comparator. Where you can compare the test results of two batteries, I guess. So he can choose a battery. Now you can see if I can find the batteries I'm testing, just out of curiosity. Okay, one it's Ultra Fire, and mine is, they are blue and they're 3,000. So blue, he's got blue, but they're 5,000. Okay, and he's got 3,000, which are various colors. Let's just try this one. It's 3,000 but it's red and white. Okay, I'll compare that to the Nikkor. Let me see if he tested Nikkor. Whoops. In, in, in. Hmm, no Nikkor. Well, I'll be darned. I'll have to send him an email and ask him uh, if, well, if you will test a Nikkor. Okay, let's just compare it to another Ultra Fire. Let's compare it to the blue Where's the blue? I saw it right there. It's 5,000. Okay. Well, that's interesting. If I read this curve correctly, the blues didn't do too good, which they're supposed to be the higher capacity. You can see uh, the best case they did was just over one amp hour or 1,000 milliamp hours. Hmm. The reds did better. They did over two. 
Well, that's interesting. So, so I, this is a great website if you're looking in to start using these batteries or already start using them and trying to find out which ones to get. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to see if I can contact him and ask him if he has tested or will test the Nikors and the Ultra Fire 3000 Blue. Now, maybe it's the same as the Ultra Fire Red White 3000. I don't know. So anyway, I just want to share this web page with you. Like I say, he's got many, many. Uh, let me see. Here's how he did the test. Here's the equipment he used. Some pretty sophisticated equipment. And then he shows you how he charged uh, the batteries for testing. Some pictures of the batteries. Other information. It's just tons of information about these 18650 batteries much more than I'll ever do okay so that's why I show you that if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up thanks bye